YouTube. He's my Markiplier poster. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, okay, I am going to make a quick video because I'm currently about to pull an all-nighter <laughs> to study for my geography midterm. It is currently midnight, so I give myself like a two-hour break to work out, and then now I'm going to start cramming. Yay! Okay. Um, so what I wanted to talk about was another in ending massage noir, healing massage noir video. I haven't made one of those in a while. Um, but this video is going to be about the political choice about being a spunster. Um, so I have been trying to figure out my you know, my dating history and, like, life with men and, and like, how I feel about them and, and what I'm looking for in terms of a guy because I'm more sexually attracted to men. I like sex better with men. Um, and, but I have issues with casual sex. I'm a very emotional being. I'm all about women, you know, reclaiming their sexuality and doing whatever they want to do. But for me, you know, I've only slept with four people, but I, that terrifies me. <laughs> I never wanted to sleep with that many people. I honestly just wanted to sleep with one person ever, and four is too much for me. Um, and, but I have issues with, you know, with dating rules, with misogyny, with sexism, with gender roles. And I've basically been told I have to uphold gender roles to attract a man and to keep a man and I just don't want to do it and I've been reading a lot of articles um, from like everyday feminism from um, bustle from feminist current a lot about the political choice on staying single um, and why it's important to understand that you know, being a spinster isn't this horrible idea that we've been trained as women to be with men, like to be men, pro male property. And this is mostly coming from white feminist sources, not necessarily black or people of color, women of color feminist sources. But I do think it has still been intrinsic intrinsically ingrained into my psyche that I have to have a man and I think that's part of the reason why you know I've been so obsessed with like dating and like or just having a mate in general and but realizing that being a spinster is not a bad thing and it is such a revolutionary choice to basically allow yourself to be subjected to singledom when your whole society tells you you're not supposed to be single um it's so political because it's it's just it's taking so much power back from the patriarchy and what we instill and also it is so incredibly important to remember that the idea of marriage or the idea of coupling in a heteronormative sense is all based on this idea of you being property, you being owned, you having to be reclaimed in some way and the idea of your sexuality being a prize in order to attract a man or your sexuality being your worth and that's why you know people get involved with you or you being like you withholding sex for long-term stimulation and intimacy is also kind of sexist and right now I'm on a self-sexual journey I was going to be celibate for a while because I um, I've been struggling with where I fit in sexually in the world and I'm gonna make more videos about sex because women don't talk about you know, sex as much, but just from this standpoint, um, being a spinster or being single forever is something that I, I, I waver with and I used to do it out of a place of self-loathing because I was like, oh, no one's ever going to want to be with me, but I'm doing, I'm thinking about reclaiming my life and, you know, realizing I can't stop a family and friends and an awesome sex life with myself and I can you know have journeys and freedom and I can you know um, raise a, ch a child I can adopt a child I can become a mentor 
you know, and have children that way, I can still have my family and my friends in a platonic sense be, you know, a part of my, my, my life, and I'm not going to be losing anything, like, I can still reclaim a sense of self without a male partner, without a partner in my life, and to just have that independence as a woman and that freedom to have your career, to have your own money, to have that sense of stability is so powerful, and a society that tells you that you can't do that. And I think also, but coming from a, a oh sorry, coming from a strictly, you know, black womanist perspective, we've been told we have to be independent our entire lives because no one cares about us, but like I've mentioned before, my other healing massage noir videos is such a strength to be that independent, and to kind of say fuck you to the anti-stereotype about being independent that has been made and just reclaiming that too and I think being a spinster in a lot of ways does that. It's a revolutionary practice to say you can stand completely on your own without anyone and I think it's a beautiful practice and I want to I want to cultivate that no matter, like, in, in every sense of the way. Um, so yeah, that's a little short blurb of spinsterism that I wanted to pass on to you. And I've also, I don't know, I've just been reading about women who don't ever get married and don't have sex and don't. And, and they have so much freedom and they have so much power and I wish I could be a woman that could have casual sex and feel comfortable with myself but I don't feel comfortable afterwards. I feel very weird and I know that I'm still working through those issues about a number and about what it means but I personally have been having a great self-sexual journey so far which I'm also going to talk about in another video that's not going to be in this playlist but um... I'm going to start, you know, talking more about my self-sexual identity now and about having a sex life with myself and having intimacy with myself and realizing how much I don't need another partner in order to have that intimacy, in order to have that self-love and that romance with myself. Because um, it's, it's revolutionary. It, you're breaking down every barrier that's been laid, in, uh, uh, you know, laid out in front of you when you decide to say no to coupling, um, because that's all that we've been ingrained with growing up is this idea that if we attract the perfect mate, then we're more of an adult. We're fitting in. We're we're a part of these societal and cultural norms that we don't have to be a part of when we can create our own norms, we can create our own ideas. And especially as an empath too, honoring my own ideas and honoring my own feelings and not being not getting caught up in being lost in the depersonalization of being in a entanglement, romantic entanglement of some sort. Although some romantic relationships are so freaking amazing. And and that's not to knock not knocking any sort of monogamy or polyamory or any sort of coupling there is out there by saying that you want to be a spinster. It's not saying that you're less than a woman because, or you're less than anything because you're involved with someone, but it's just saying the people that, you know, choose not to, which I might be considering this as a life choice, it's a very powerful choice and I've been sitting with the idea that I have this power within me to be this independent woman to have the strength and to walk around with strength and to tell my story to other people and that's something that I never I never thought about doing until I started reading up on it and reading up about the women who live to be a hundred plus without men or the women in their mid to late seventies are having amazing sex lives with themselves and um it, it's just it's powerful. It's powerful. And why don't I start that at twenty one? You know what I mean? Like because I've never been, I'm not attracted to the party scene, I'm not attracted to going out and meeting multiple people because I am so introverted and reclusive and I, you know, I also like, I have these ideas about relationships and relationship algorithms and 
I don't like it when things are, you know, too chaotic. And I feel like that, for me, it's, it's great for people who are reclaiming their identity and they're more extroverted and able to do that. But for me, especially as a black woman with all these stigmas attached to being black and being a woman and being cis and being femme and being queer and being very cerebral and introspective, there's a lot of things that are against me going out and reclaiming a sexuality because people already look at me as already, you know, um, un unhinged sexually. Um, so trying to combat the two and trying to figure out what works best for me, I think singledom might work best for me. Um, anyway, that was a short blurb. I might make, I'm going to make another video on colorism, um, soon. So, yeah. Alright, bye.